What's 2002 is training equipment to test the radiation pattern of various antennas and to test the characteristics of waves in mobile communication equipment environment. Connect the antenna to the main body with coaxial cable and connect the antenna which will be used in the experiment. Initiate the Watts 2002 program installed in your computer. Turn on the switch on the main body. These icons represent each of the experiments available. Let's go into a little more detail about this program. To conduct the experiment on radiation pattern measurement, select the icon for the radiation pattern on top of the screen. Select appropriate frequency for the experiment. Click on the calibration icon to adjust the position of the antenna. It will automatically determine antenna's reference position to achieve maximum receiving power. Select the appropriate gain value from the screen and then press the OK button. Select the auto icon and it rotates 360 degrees automatically to measure the radiation pattern. On the right of the screen, antenna angle and receiving level value will be displayed and receiving value measured in real time will also be displayed on the bottom of the screen. It is an absolute value that fluctuates according to the characteristics of antennas and the distance between the transmitting antenna and receiving antenna. This button is to normalize the measured value. On pressing this button, the data will be normalized. This reset button is to restore the antenna to its original position while saving data. You will be prompted whether to save the data or not. The antenna will be returned to its original position. This button allows for measuring and receiving level in four steps back and forth. In this experiment, the receiving level value needs to be checked manually. Saved data can be recalled by pressing recall from the menu. Maximum of six different data sets can be displayed simultaneously. start measuring with the measuring equipment. Connect the spectrum analyzer to the receiving antenna's output terminal and measure the receiving level by rotating 360 degrees. The receiving level changes as the antenna rotates to different angles. Return to the main screen for a new measurement. Let's do a phase delay experiment. Select the appropriate frequency for the experiment. Select the phase delay icon on the center of the screen and select the desired phase delay value. The two paths mean a different path other than direct receiving path. On the right of the screen directly above the wave, phase delayed wave and combined wave are displayed.
The combined wave will be minimalized if the 180 degree phase was delayed. The test results can be confirmed through the oscilloscope. Click on the attenuation icon on the top of the main screen for the attenuation experiment. Select the appropriate frequency for the experiment first. Click on the attenuation icon at the center of the screen and select attenuation value from the new window. On the top right of the screen you will see direct wave, attenuated wave, combined wave, and Lisa Ju's graph center of the screen. These are direct wave, attenuated wave, combined wave measured with the oscilloscope. Click on the multipath icon at the top of the main screen for the multipath experiment. Select appropriate frequency from the frequency selection icon at the top of the screen for the first experiment. The screen shows the direct reception path, fading path 1 and fading path 2. Select phase delay and attenuation value from the phase delay and attenuation icon indicated in fading path 1 and fading path 2. Then received wave level is shown at the center and right of the screen, and combined wave level is shown at the bottom of the screen. Close observation on the wave pattern for multipath fading is possible with the oscilloscope. Click on the standing wave icon at the top of the main screen for the standing wave experiment. Click on the reflector button first to select attenuation value for reflected waves. Standing wave level is measured automatically by clicking the voltage standing wave button. Standing wave is measured again when the attenuation value has changed. Connect the cable to the front of the main body and close observation on the standing wave pattern is possible with the oscilloscope. Click on the time delay icon at the top of the main screen for the time delay experiment. Select low frequency and time delay value. Delayed wave pattern can be observed. Then select high frequency and time delay value. Compare the previous wave pattern and the new delayed wave pattern. Select the Doppler Frequency Experiment icon. Select the frequency first. Select the speed of the moving object. Then the Doppler frequency will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Propagation Environment Simulation Experiment is possible by clicking on the HETA icon. Select the propagation environment first. Select the measurement range and the height of the antenna. Select the output level and frequency and click on the simulation button to initiate the experiment. The propagation loss graph 
and value according to the distance will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Select a new environment for a new experiment. The propagation loss graph will appear again at the bottom of the screen. This has been an experiment to measure radiation pattern of the antenna and propagation characteristics under the mobile communication environment using Watts 2002. Thank you.